Pshu! Boopity boo! Bang! Hello there, gaming fans! Welcome to my hideout! I am your host, The Horde! Back with another gameplay video for your entertainment today! And today! Today we will be playing a short comedy game with a whimsical cast of NPCs. We are high, and our burrito is gone in the Burrito Quest! We have to unravel the mystery, find our burrito. There is a party in our house, and it appears to be filled with the strangest collection of individuals I have ever seen. We have to wander around talking to them, to find out where the hell our burrito has gone so that we can get to the end and devour our juicy reward. This is probably going to be one of the odder games of the year that I play. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive right in. Well, it certainly sounds magical. Let's get in there and start... Is that everyone that's in my party? Yeah, this is going to get weird. On a regular Saturday, man, I'm bored. Uh, yeah, that sounds like my Saturdays. I just want to do nothing today. That's going to make me more bored. But if I do that, I'll be even more bored. Told you. Knew it. Knew where that was going. Wait a minute. There are those mushrooms I found inside that chest in the attic. They should be here. This is a way to make your Saturday more exciting. Yum. They don't taste very good. Should have made a soup, man. Magic mushrooms usually take between 30 to 60 minutes to take effect. I think. I go to the fridge. I want to eat something to clean my mouth. There, I see it. A wonderful juicy burrito. Let's warm up this beauty. Before I put it in the oven, my sight starts to get foggy. Oh no, this is where we lose it, man. I don't have time to understand what's happening. I'm laying on the ground. I feel that I'm gonna pass out. What a weird feeling. While I lose consciousness, the only thing I'm able to think about is that burrito. This is a man after my own heart. Yeah, I knew that. And you're right. I am cool. Okay, what have we got? Supergirl. Some sweet moves you've got there, sweetheart. Super Janet. Can't hear you, mate. I'm dancing. Didn't say anything. I tried to. Can't hear you, mate. I'm dancing. Fuck you, Super Janet. Okay, who we got over here? Sparky. Woof. Your moves are sick, man. Woof. Thanks. May I pet you? Taking a risk here, man. It's going to gnaw my hand off. Woof. It depends. Oh, depends where we're going to be stroking him. I'm going to cup your balls, man. Work the shaft. Got any cocaine hidden where I didn't smell it already? What? No? Then fuck off! Fucking hell, Sparky. No need for that, man. Why is there a spinning fucking planet in the house? It's Francesca, of course! Woohoo! I love your dance energy. To be honest, I should not dance. There are some billions of people screaming on me right now. But I love to dance too much. Fair enough, Francesca. Fuck the burrito, man. There's a pizza here. Let me eat the pizza and the sandwiches. Is this a frost giant? Who the fuck are you? Oh, it's Susie. Hi, darling. Hello there. How are you, lady? All good here. How about you? I want to say I'm okay, but I feel like I won't be able to feel good until I eat my wonderful burrito. Oh, dear. Are you hungry? I can summon some dead children if you want something to snack on. Maybe later, Susie. All I can think about first is that burrito. Thank you. No problem whatsoever. I wanted to give you my appreciation for this party. You have quite a lovely house here. Thank you very much, Susie. So I guess you haven't seen a burrito, have you? What's your name? I mean, I just called her Susie. Oh, darling, no, I didn't. Even if I saw it, I wouldn't know what to do with it. You know, recently, I've become extremely intolerant to gluten, so I can only eat live flesh. All right there, Susie, calm down. My name is Susie, by the way. I know, I've used your name about a million times. I'm Bill. You look like you want to use your mouth hole some more. If you're inviting me to eat you out, Susie, no. Fucking hell, let's get away from her. Can I go through this door? It's like, what the fuck is that thing? It's a fish. Shit, I've gone in a circle. Who the fuck are you? RT456, unable to start dialogue module. Party protocol blocked on dope dance move. Reboot needed. Sorry about that, RT. Fucking hell, that wall's insane. I want one. Open the fucking door, man. Okay, it's Jellyfish Central in here. Can I speak to any of these guys? Yep. Oh, it's Jellyfish. Hey! Hello there. Do you have to pee? You're not going to sting me on the cock, are you? Not right now. Shame, I love it when people pee. It makes the water warmer. Jenny, you're a pervert. Doesn't it feel gross to swim in a person's piss? Nah, we jellyfish love warmer waters. And I like to watch you do it too. Pervert Jenny, fish. Okay, see you later. Can I speak to all of them? Oh no, just jellyfish. Hey, they're not stinging me. Can I go in the shower? Is my burrito in here? Is it wet? Nope, we're fine. We can carry on. Right, I probably should speak to everyone in this room first. Let's have a word with Mr. Bones. Oh, it's Lois. This pot is snided with women, man. Hello! Hi there. Are you okay? Sure, why do you ask? You seem a bit 
too skinny. Man, you can't start saying things like that to women. Oh, this! Aha! Well, you see, when the game was in alpha, the dev sent me an invitation for it. When I started playing, the game took my mind inside the code, and now I'm stuck here. Damn, that suck. You seem to be able to take it lightly, though. Oh, well, you can't keep a grudge for too much time, you know. I know. You end up stressing yourself. Lois, I know. Better to chill. Lois, I know. I respect your chillness. Do you need something? And have you seen a burrito? Nope, and nope. Everything is gonna fix itself. Better do, man. Is that a carrot in the dartboard? What the fuck is going on here, man? I'm guessing, Frost Giant, that this fucking sword of omens belongs to you. Knight, at least he hasn't thrown his fucking sword into my wall. Duncan! Hey, dude. Hey, dude, have you seen a burrito around here? I don't know, man. I'm fucking wasted, you know. I don't remember seeing you before. What's your name, bro? Man, it's Duncan. Pay attention. I am the Duncan, slayer of dragons, killer of werewolves, lover of beavers, and crusher of destiny. Fucking hell. I love Duncan. He's my kind of guy. You surely have heard of me before. I know, I know. Don't panic. You don't have to say nothing. I will sign you an autograph later. Thanks, Duncan. Let's ask about the burrito. Are you sure you didn't see a burrito? Does a warlock always have no underpants? Of course I am sure. I am Duncan, the master of legend. There is nothing I am not sure of. Once Lady Death herself tried to catch me while I was peeing behind a bear. She thought she could catch me off guard. I grabbed her by the neck with my pissy hands and threw her in a well. Do you know how they call that well now? The well of piss. Exactly. The well of Duncan. <laughs> Duncan, you've lost it. I'm just going to walk away from you, Duncan, and see if I can see anyone else that's less mental. Right, let's see if I can go upstairs. Have oh, I been through this door? Stop doing that, man. Oh, it's a fucking wizard and an elephant and a spaceman. What have we got over here, man? What the fuck was that? I don't know. Flew away. Never going to see it again. Who should we go for first? I want to speak to the fucking hell this guy likes cats. Elephant. Meow. Puff the cat. It's the strangest fucking cat I've ever seen. I want one. Can you talk? No. I mean, nyan nyan. So you can talk. And you are Japanese. Listen, dude. I'm just trying to do my job here, okay? Would you please just come on? Okay, bud. It's Spaceman Joe. Hello, Spaceman Joe. I am the owner of the house. How are you doing? I am a visitor of the house. All good here. Nothing suspicious. I think. That seems pretty suspicious. Have you seen my burrito? No, no, I didn't see that amazing burrito with its succulent roasted pork and a fragrant looking salad. I wish I could have seen such a wonderful thing. Joe, you're beginning to arouse my suspicions. You described it perfectly. Oh, it must be a coincidence. Aha! They happen a lot. Do you mind if I ask you some question? No, I guess. Burrito, motherfucker. Where is it? Okay, man, you play a tough game. I am freaking out. I saw your burrito. Yes, I saw it. I'm a damn liar. Poor Joe. Easy there, fella. Why did you lie? Well, I am a desperate man. I need help. I need your help. I need someone's help. Let's help each other. Right, we're not tugging each other off, yeah? I'll get you what you need. Just give me my fucking burrito back. You do something for me, and I'll tell you where the burrito is. Like I said, no tug jobs. All this stress is no good for you, you know, Joe. You are living the whole situation in the wrong way. Just accept the moment, man. <gasps> yeah, like that. Inhale and exhale. Now, would you like to tell me what's going on? Thank you, dude. Sure thing. You see, I know you are tripping balls right now. I am not a product of your imagination. You're not? I am a real astronaut. Shit. An era ago, I was doing a routine check outside of the International Space Station when at some point my security cables cut off by some debris. Before I could realize what was going on and warn my colleagues, I ended up down a wormhole. A freaking wormhole. Then I felt my whole reality getting warped in weird ways. My whole sense of self got spaghettified. Suddenly, I ended up in a witch's house. She was old and evil. She may be doing unspeakable sexual stuff. Some of it I enjoyed. Some will haunt me forever. You are, man. I know just how you feel, Joe. I've been there. Not in a witch's house. Is this too long? Do you want to hear the rest or just what I need? Man, tell me all. Give me everything. After one particularly nasty sex and cooking session, I had enough. So I waited for her to fall asleep. Then I put on my suit and run away in the forest. Man, a spacesuit is not ideal for a forest escape. After some hours, I heard a horrendous scream. The witch was awake and saw my escape. She sent a curse on me and I got teleported again. Now I am condemned to roam the fantasies of people who use hardcore drugs, like yourself, until I find the magic word that will set me free from this reality. The problem is, I don't know how to find it, but I feel you might be the one who finds it. This is my prediction. I understand, but how do I know that all your stories are a product of my imagination as well? Because I told you so. That makes sense. Okay, magic word, magic word. Yes, will you help me find it? I'll try asking around. That'll do for now, Joe. Thank you very much. I'll be back later. Okay. Wizard! 
anyone's gonna know magic words, it's a wizard. What the fuck is he doing with that mushroom? Teasing me. Hi Bill, how's it going? Not so well actually, I see weird people everywhere. Have we met already? Sorry, but I don't remember you. Yes, there are a lot of weird folks around here. Check this sick move. Sean, can you fucking stop right now? But, to answer your question, you never met me, no. I met your grandpa though. Grams, where did you meet him? I sold him some mushrooms a couple of decades ago. And my mystical senses tell me you are enjoying them right now. Your mystical senses are spot on, my friend. You make strong stuff. I never had a trip so vivid like this. But I'm happy to know you are real, at least. A trip? Ah, yes. A trip indeed. Aren't we all travelling in the end? From a place to another? From a day to another? From birth to death? Don't make it dark, Sean. My name is Sean, by the way. I know. I just used your name. I meant tripping balls, you know. But yeah, whatever works for you, Sean. May I ask you some question? You may do whatever you want. Okay, sex stuff it is. Not really. Magic word. My friend Joe needs a magic word to free himself from a curse. Do you happen to know it? <clears throat> Let me watch into the very fabric of existence for a moment. Ashkal Sungaron. Yes, yes, I see. Quite unfortunate, but I can't help. Great. What's the word? I will tell you, but first I need a little favor. Oh my God. I'm going around helping every fucker out. Of course you do. Have you seen that cute demon in the other room? I don't know, did I? I find her quite attractive. Do you mean the frost giant? Do you want me to introduce you to her? God, no. Are you crazy? Introduce me? No, no, no. All I want is um some of her panties. Jesus Christ, man. Don't judge. I'm a free man. Do you want the word or not? Yes, I'll do my best. Be discreet. How the fuck am I going to get panties discreetly, man? See you later. Okay, this is going to get... What the fuck was that thing? Did it again. What are you? Oh, it's a little spaceship. Uh... Yeah, I'm assuming it means you. Can I have your pants? Hey, you look like you want to use your mouth hole some more. I do, to remove your panties. Summon powers? You said you could summon stuff at will, didn't you? Yeah, I offered you some dead childs earlier. Have you reconsidered? Oh no, I don't want that. I was wondering if you could summon more stuff other than dead people. Oh ho ho, you silly. Children are not people. But anyway, I could summon almost anything, yeah. It's going to be a touch hellish though. Can you summon, let's say, a pair of panties? I can summon some hell panties. Would that be appropriate, darling? Sounds fancy. May you do that, please? Of course. All I need in exchange is your soul. Fucking hell. That's a bit expensive. I... I'm just kidding, dear. <laughs> you should see your face. Swoosh. Ah, you got me. Wait, the panties disappeared. They never even appeared. What are you talking about? Oh, no. I'm very mortified. I forgot about my fingernail. Fingernail? Yes, well, you see, when I ended up here, I kind of crashed in the kitchen and I felt one of my nails snap out. I should actually retrieve it. Without without it, my powers don't work in this dimension. Sorry, my dear. That's a shame. Maybe I can find it for you. That would be wonderful and it beats my other option. What option? Well, I would have started to rip open the rib cages of all the people here to see if it ended up there. Yes, I'm pretty sure I can find it. Just hold your horses on that one, Susie. Okay, dear. You seem trustworthy. Come back when you find it, and I will give you your lovely panties. Thank you, Susie. See you later. Okay, right. So we're looking for a fingernail. I mean, surely none of these guys has got it. A fried egg. Yum, yum, yum. And a cleaver and some meat. I was hoping that it would just be, like, loose on the floor. She did say the kitchen, but I don't see it anywhere, man. Shit, am I going to have to talk to these dicks? Do you know anything about it, dog? Woof, woof. Weird Jimmy? Was that his name? His name wasn't Weird Jimmy, was it? Have you seen any fingernails, Lois? I'm not supposed to talk to you anymore, so yeah, move on. Fucking hell, bitch. Duncan, have you seen any fingernails? Yo, bro, okay. No, no more questions for him either. Shit, it's not in the kitchen, man, I've just checked. Are there any stairs? Oh, wow, who's this guy? He looks normal. Weird Jimmy again? Hey, what are you doing here? Chill, man, I'm trying to go upstairs. Do you have any idea how hard it is to develop a game? What? No? Well, it's pretty fucking hard. Especially writing characters. So why don't you do me a favor and go and talk to all the fucking characters in the ground floor? But I just want to find my burrito. I don't make the rules here. I'll let you pass once you are really sure you actually have to. Fuck. So does this mean I can't... Shit, the sword's gone right through the wall. Whoa! What the fuck just happened? That was weird. Um, I thought I had spoken to everyone. Wait, there's another room down here, isn't there? I haven't been in- Stop doing that, fucking freak. Oh no, I spoke to the jellyfish. Looking for a fucking fingernail. Have you seen one? Piss on me, please! Jellyfish, no. I don't have time for this. Robot, have you found a fingernail? Unable to start dialogue module. You're fucking rubbish, robot. Can I open anything? Come on, where's the fucking fingernail? Is it in the fridge? What the fuck's happening to the lamp, man? Oh my god, I've had to go around and talk to everyone. I spoke to Duncan right next to her, and it turns out the goddamn fingernail is at the bottom of his cup. Give me the goddamn fingernail, Duncan. I was thinking about your predicament regarding the flask, and I think I've got a solution. 
I'm all ears. I've drank and pissed non-stop for the last 10 hours. You should jump while you drink. That always helps. You know what? That feels like a wonderful idea. Where the fuck has he gone? I told you to jump, not lie down, you mad bastard. But first, let me just take a little break. That was easy. Now I have a big wet fingernail. Yay for me. Okay, Susie. This is all coming together wonderfully. I found your fingernail. Finally, I am whole again. Yes, yes, you are. Sorry, I always wanted to say that. No problem whatsoever. I can summer stuff for you now if you'd like. I would really like that pair of panties now. Here you go. You receive hell panties. They are like panties, but from hell. Thank you, Susie. I will see you around. Oh, you will see me, yes, very, very soon. <laughs> What? Just kidding. Enjoy the party, darling. Yeah, that Sean better be worth this. Okay, to the wizard. I have panties for you. Hey, man, I got the panties. Oh, let me see them. Sniff, sniff. You said you want to look, man, not a sniff. Are those the things you were looking for? No, they are much, much better. Have you got any idea of how many spells I can make with them? Your part of the deal is honored. Here is the magic word. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Close. Are you going to fucking kiss me, man, or what? Blurp. Blurp. Yes, blurp. Be careful with it. It is a powerful word. I expected something more, I don't know, magicus. What could be more magical than blurp? Okay, never mind. See you later. Ciao. I've done it, man. I have solved it for you. Have you found the magic word? Too fucking right I have. You're not joking, are you? I've got it written in my hand. Okay, wait before saying it. I think that when I do, I'll be sent back to my original dimension. Okay, Joe, tell me where the burrito is and I'll send you back home with your ass on fire. Why should my ass be on fire? Is that some part of the decursing process? Possibly, yes. No, dude, it's a way of saying goodbye to people. Is it? I've never heard of it either. You sure come from a weird place then, buddy. Sorry then. Okay, here's the deal with the burrito. Are you ready for it? You bet you're smoking gluteus I am. Do you have a pen to take notes? My memory is iron. I've got this. Here we go then. The burrito. Yeah? is yeah 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 upstairs fucking knew it would be i've said upstairs i heard you it's like the only place left to go i mean i thought you'd give me the exact location isn't upstairs exact enough i mean it could be everywhere in the universe i've restricted an infinite amount of possibility in one house floor it seems pretty accurate to me god damn it joe whatever oh the prince is not satisfied the king of burritos is not happy with his answer sorry mr cool guy if i wasn't helpful enough Okay, okay, chill out, Joe. No need to be that salty. You've been helpful, sure. I didn't hear a thank you. Thank you, Joe. Great, now it is time. Use the word, buddy. I am ready. Okay, here we go. The word is... B-L-E-R-P. You said the letters one at a time. Read it like a normal word. And what a fucking stupid word is that? I know, right? I said the same thing. But that's it, though. Blurp! Pow! It's working! It's working! Thank you, dude! Thank you! I wasn't sure it would work till now! I am so grateful! I will give you one last advice! Remember, my dear! The burrito is... Bup! Son of a bitch! Right, let's go upstairs. Hey, fuckface! Can I come through now? Sup, bro? Feeling pretty weird, to be honest. I'm kind of in the middle of a... Sorry, pal. My fault. Maybe it looked like I care, but I don't. You piece of shit. Anyway, you look like someone who needs help. I'm here to help. Well, maybe stop fucking stretching then and listen to me. Got everything here. You name it, I have it. Well, actually, I need a burr. Poop bags. I got them. HDMI cables. I've got them. Those silly looking yet extremely hilarious drinking straw glasses. I've got them. Hang on a second, man. What am I supposed to do with that stuff? And most importantly, why aren't you just selling drugs like everyone else in the freaking world? I'm proudly against drugs. Well, I guess that does your honor, actual. Especially since my girlfriend died from overdose early this week. Fucking hell, weird Jimmy. What a way to kill the mood. Sucks, man. I'm so sorry. I gave her the drugs. Oh. Well, I'm sure it wasn't your fault. There were some really bad drugs. Worst drugs I've ever gotten into my hands. Wait, now that I think of it, maybe I still have some left, actually. Do you want it? No, thanks. Too bad. Anything else I can do for you? Get out the fucking way, man. Well, I'm looking for a burrito. Burrito? Why don't you say that immediately? I was trying to, but wait, you know where I can find it? Of course I do. It's in the bedroom here on your right. Wow, now that's some precious information you just gave me. Do I have to pay you or something? Nope, man. The only payment I accept is a smile on the face of my happy customers. Cool. And is that a sustainable business? Hell, it's not. I see. Well, thanks then. You're welcome, pal. Are you going to step back or something? You're kind of blocking my way. What the fuck's going on, man? Stop doing that. Sorry, dog. No budget for that. I think I'll just disable my collider so you can walk through. That sure is cheap, isn't it? Don't blame me on that. Bye then. And you know where to find me in case you want some of that really bad drug. Got it. Thanks, Jimmy. Fuck me. What's happening? Whoa. So it said it's through there, but there's lots more people to see. What's going on in here? Shit. There's a hot tub. Is that duck a person? Can I talk to the duck? Yes, I can. 
Is the burrito actually in here? Was he lying to me? It's not fucking in here, man. Son of a bitch has lied to me. I'm gonna have even more to do. Fucking hell. Stop doing that. I can't fucking see anything. The toilet is occupied. Damn it. Keep out. No fucking way. I'm coming straight in. Seriously. Go away unless you have important party business. Of course I do. It's a penguin. Hi there, penguin. Penguin bouncer. Yo, stop right there. Hi, bud. What's going on in there? Can't you read? I don't know what PPP stands for. Does it look like it's my fucking problem? I guess not. Sorry, I was just asking. Mm, it stands for private penguin party. Now, sir, are you a penguin? Yes. Well, be my guest then. Enter. Really? No. Jeez, okay, okay, I'm leaving. But I have to ask, why are you so rude? Is everything okay? Rude? Rude? I'll show you rude. Wait, I guess you are, right? I am rude. It's just been a tough week, you know? My wife Sharon wants a divorce. My kids hate me. It's just been a lot. And well, you were the first one in a long time asking me if everything is okay. It is okay. Everyone has their ups and downs. I am not going to tell you how you should feel, but come on, you're still alive. You can make those situations change, or at least change the way you feel about them. It's all up to you. I mean, it's something that scares me now and then to be the only one driving my ship. But at the same time, don't you think it's beautiful and empowering? Yeah, I understand your point. Thanks, dude. You are welcome. Want to have a beer when you are done here? Sure, that would be nice. Nice to meet you, Penguin. The guy's fucking lied to me, man. The burrito's not in here, and now I'm gonna have to start talking to these bastards. I'm gonna start in the fuck. Boys, unintentionally running, ridiculously innovative typography. Fuck taco. Burrito member. Hello, my young friend. Hello? What the hell is this? This what? This burrito stuff everywhere. I was expecting an actual burrito. This looks like a freaking joke. Oh, oh, oh! That's a common misunderstanding. Sorry, kid, no burritos here. Only B U R R I T O. I'm not even gonna ask. Ask what? What B-U-R-R-I-T-O stands for? Ah, good question. That's the name of our club. Boys, unintentionally, running, ridiculously, innovative, typographies. Wait, and what about the L? Well, you see, we couldn't figure that out yet. It's embarrassments like this that keep me awake at night. Okay, I see you guys are doing just fine here. I think I'll leave you to your things. Enjoy your whatever you're doing. Wait, kid, you're looking for a burrito, right? Well, yes. I think I can help you with that. But first, you should do me a little favor. Not another. I'm all ears. Sorry, you didn't tell me your name. Norman here. I'm all ears, Norman. Such a good lad. Well, do not mention it to anyone, but I think we have a snitch here at B-U-R-R-I-T-O. Why the hell would someone do such a thing? Wouldn't you do anything just to hang out with the coolest guys? And furthermore, I have reason to believe that T-A-C-O are making their next move. T-A-C-O? Totally awesome car wash owners. Why do I keep asking? Damn T-A-C-O. They are always bragging themselves just because they were able to figure out the O. Anyway, are you going to help me find the snitch? Too fucking right I will. I need my burrito, man. I knew you were a good fellow. Just try speaking to the other members. Maybe you'll find out something. Consider it done. Please be discreet. Fuckface. Oh, hi. I'm Gary. Are you here to join us? Yeah, I'm considering. Nice. So why don't you tell me something about yourself? Cool. <laughs> what do you want to know? I don't know. How about your typography? Fine. You will not believe me, but I didn't even know what a typography was until a couple of years ago. <laughs> I actually got PhD in economy and dreamt to become a broker or something like that. Unintentionally. Check. But then, you know, life takes you here and there. Shit happens. Your wife leaves you. She takes the kids. You later find out she was cheating on you with a local anchor man. You try to take the kids back, but it turns out they don't even want to see you anymore. Still, you are the one who has to pay for their education. And when you hit rock bottom, you think you're done with it. You find yourself at Nanoprint, the most talked about typography in the whole valley. Oh, I heard of it, actually. I think I've seen it on TV news or something. You are the guys who are printing zero-impact books by using synthetic cellulose instead of trees, right? Exactly! Innovative. Check. He's fine. You're a cool guy, Gary. I shall come to see you at your typography sometimes. Well, I never said it was mine. What do you mean? The typography. I never said it was mine. Wait, so you're not running it? Nope, I clean the toilets. Fuck you, Gary. You're the worst. Hi, man. Name's Francis. What's up? Hey, dude. Not much. Just hanging out and looking for a burrito. A burrito? I like burritos, too. Especially the vegan ones. Cool. Yeah, you know, I'm vegan. Yeah, I figured. So you're a B-U-R-O-I-T-O member? Of course. One of the first, actually. Why don't you tell me something about your activity? Sure, that's a funny story, actually. One day, I was having lunch at my favorite vegan restaurant when this guy approaches me and tells me, Hey, dude, I'm moving to NY. How about you running my typography? I'm not usually a man who likes to take risks, but I figured he was a cool guy since he was eating the same tofu I had ordered. You know, there's this nice restaurant on Lessis Avenue called Satan Loves Meat, where they make a fabulous tofu, so... Okay, okay, I get it. You accepted and took the business over. That sure is unintentional and weird. Well, yes. So there you are, unintentionally running this typography. Right. And is it innovative? Naturally. It's the only 100% vegan typography in the world. Or at least the only one I know about. <laughs> vegan. 
typography. Yeah, you look confused. Did I mention I'm vegan? You sure did, yeah. I don't mean to be rude, but what's so innovative about it? What do you mean? I mean, paper comes from trees, and ink comes from some chemical process, I guess. No meat or animal-derived stuff involved whatsoever. So isn't every single typography a vegan typography? Oh, well... Fuck! You okay? Didn't mean to be a mood breaker. Yeah, I'm fine, I guess. I just think I need some time to process the thing. Screwing him over. You look like someone who discovered something. Why don't you tell me? They're all lying. I knew it! Those fucking liars. Come on, man. They're still cool guys. It's not that bad. It's not that bad? It's not that bad? Listen, kid. You obviously didn't understand the gravity of the situation, but a promise is a promise. If you want that burrito, go to the bathroom next door. You'll find someone who can help you. Tell him Norman sends you. He will agree to receive you. Now, if you allow, I have some business to do. There's no fucking bathroom next door. Oh, yeah, it's locked. I remember. Toilet is occupied. I don't need the toilet. I just want to talk with you. I can't. I'm busy occupying the toilet. But Norman sent me. Norman? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Come on, get in. Who the fuck is this guy? And what the fuck's going on in my toilet? So how's Norman doing? Not so fine. Killing everyone in the room and stuff? Ha 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 ha! The usual Norman. He will never change. Yeah, I guess. So, you have a name? A name? Let me think. Yeah, Peter will do. Hi, Peter. Hi, young explorer of the truth. Norman sent you here to help me with my experiment, right? Uh, I don't think so. I'm looking for a burrito. Norman told me you could help me. Oh. What do you mean, oh? Well, you know, I mentioned my experiment and I thought you'd show some interest. Fine. Please tell me more about this experiment. I'm glad you asked. Have you ever heard about time travel? No way! You're making time travel? Nope, I was just asking. Actually, I'm working on something totally different. I'm trying to combine the proton properties of different elements in order to create a new reactive layer, which will be capable of reversibly modifying the atomic behavior of all the substances involved in the range of the action of the process. Clear? Not even a little bit, Peter. I honestly didn't get a single word. Well, I guess that was too specific. I'll try to keep it simpler. Once the experiment is on, shit is about to get real in this house. Now I'm with you. We will kind of break the invisible wall between time and space in order to create a barely perceptible alteration of our dimension. You need my help for that? Yup. I mean, this sure sounds interesting from a scientific perspective, but what do I get if I help you? Well, I thought scientific glory would be a sufficient reward. Not today, my friend. I'm kind of in the middle of a quest right now. So good luck with the experiment and all. Wait, 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 wait. There's something I forgot to mention. Once someone reaches the altered dimension, TM, he can basically get whatever he wants. Whatever? Yeah. Even a burrito. Especially a burrito. Okay, I'm in. Ah, I knew you were a nice guy. Norman really has an eye for that. So shall we begin with the experiment? Too fucking right. Let's go for it. What do I have to do? That's super easy. I'll take care of everything here at the console. The only thing I need is a brave volunteer who enters the altered dimension, TM. Yeah, I can do that. Great! Oh, I almost forgot. Before we begin, there's a couple of papers you should sign. No problem, what's that about? The usual bureaucratic bullshit, you know? It basically says, I won't be legally punishable in case something bad happens to you. Nothing to worry about. Sounds cool. I like your spirit. You really remind me of Roger, my assistant from the toaster in the bath experiment. I am believing in you less now, Peter. I miss him so much. Wait, what? Enough talk now, let's get this started. Go in the shower and let it happen. Good luck, my young friend. Okay, we are fucking off. Shit, that happened quickly. Ugh, that made me feel sick. Whoa, there goes Bill. Flying through space, loving life. Where's my fucking burrito, man? Slow down, Bill! <gasps> Fuck me, it's the burrito! Ouch. <laughs> oh my god, we fucking made it. Get up, Bill! It's right in front of us. That's it, that's it, that's the spirit. It's there, run! Fucking Jesus, this place is insane. It's pretty much everything that was in the house. Hang on, I don't remember seeing a horse. I do remember that sword though. We're nearly there. Something bad's gonna happen just before I get to this fucking burrito. I can see it now. It can't be this simple. Look at that spider. Stay there, you fucking creep. Whoa, who the fuck are you? It's Rianu Keeves. Hello, my friend. What? Rianu Keeves? No way. Yeah, that's really me. Whoa, you are breath. No, my friend. You're breathtaking. Holy fucking wow. I must be dead. I am obviously dead and this is heaven. Nah, don't be silly. You're not dead. I think you just managed to combine the proton properties of different elements in order to create a new reactive layer capable of reversibly modifying the atomic behavior of all the substances involved in the range of action of the process. Oh, that's right. Peter's 
experiment. And my burrito! There it is! Yeah, there it is. You have been looking for it quite a lot, haven't you? You cannot imagine. Believe me, I can. I am Rianu Keeves, after all. Sure, I almost forgot. Mr. Keeves, it was such an honor to meet you. But now I'm afraid I have to go. As you obviously know, I have been through some real shit in order to get this burrito. So now all I want in the freaking world is to take it back home and eat it. I totally get that. It reminds me to the time I wingsuit flew from Mount Everest in order to save the President of the United States from an alien attack. What movie was that? Movie? Anyway, the point here is that I really enjoyed that experience. Now, when I think of that day, what is the first thing that comes to my mind? The fact that the President was brutally murdered and replaced by a shapeshifter alien? No, it's the beautiful sensation of wind crossing my hair while I float through the sky like an angel. Wait, I think I know where this is going. You don't want me to have the burrito, do you? It's not like that. You are 100% free to have it. No one deserves it more than you. I just want you to think about it. What should I think about exactly? Why do you want it so much? Because I'm high as fuck and I'm hungry. Good point. But I mean, why a burrito? Why that burrito? I bet there's a lot of food in the house. I don't want to be rude, but aren't you being a little obsessed? You see, sometimes we crave for things that are not that important and we end up forgetting the ones that really matter. That also happens to you? Of course it does. I'm still 20% human after all. Whoa, that's so inspiring. Maybe I was actually a little bit obsessed. Still, I cannot see the problem in eating the goddamn burrito. There is no problem. No one gets hurt. There is no right answer and wrong answer. No red pill and blue pill. If you think having that burrito will make you feel better, you should totally take it. It's up to you, my dear friend. I'll fucking take it. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but I've gone too far to pull back right now. I'm not disappointed. I'm actually proud of you getting this far, and I really hope you enjoy your burrito. Now I think it's time for you to go back home. Yeah, Mr. Keeves, let's put an end to this quest. Goodbye, my friend, and try to enjoy the party while you can. Goodbye. Is that it? Oh no, the house is going back to normal. The wall of cats is disappearing. No! And with that, we have completed the burrito quest. I told you it was going to be weird. I told you it was going to be weird. But even I didn't expect it to be that weird. A sensational, entertaining little experience for us all to relax and have fun with. And we got to meet Rianu Keeves. What could be better? Eating the fucking burrito, of course. Now, all there's left to say today is... Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Please take care of yourselves out there. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.